right, so we've got the cheesecake in the oven. You're feeling good. Mm -hmm. Feeling feeling confident. Yeah. He nailed it. Crushed it. Yeah. As you say, at it was club. all the magic there you of go. the Thrill Coffee Mug. <laughs> Made me feel really good. Recommended for all sporting events. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Sporting or non sporting. In the kitchen. Um, in the kitchen. I think it's a great time now to throw five questions at you. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. All right. Number one. What is the worst meal to eat on a first date? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a lot of experience here. <laughs> so, uh, for uh, anything really, don't try and get something that's messy, I would say. So, don't do like yeah. a handheld, like a, you know, I don't know, like a loaded quesadilla kind of thing. <laughs> it, it tastes amazing, but yeah. you don't want like cheese just drizzling down your face and... You know, if you uh, if you have a white T-shirt on, it <laughs> go yeah. on. Uh, and I would also not do a salad with too much of like greens, like long greens. You know, you know what I mean? Because I, it, it sounds like great in concept. Like suddenly you're like this guy who's like, I take cold showers and eat salads. <laughs> That's my first salad. A loaded quesadilla in a salad sounds like a Taco Bell first date. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. But like, I've 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 felt this multiple times. I'll be eating it and then yeah. like. The lettuce is like not properly centered on the fork, or like or it's it gets slippery. Stuck in the tea. Exactly. Yeah. So I would avoid okay. those. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a thought. <laughs> I, I appreciate <laughs> it. I also just like the name "loaded quesadilla." Loaded quesadilla. If I had a rock band, I think I'd call it that. So. Do you remember the Diary of the Wimpy Kid? It yes. Is elder brother's uh, band name was Loaded Diaper or something. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> what is your favorite late night snack? Oh, um, yeah, this, yeah. This, this especially as hard. a comedian. This is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we uh, can have our late night snacks. Late night snacks, yeah. yeah. I um, I really like cashews. Oh, I really really okay. like cashews. Um, I love that. If they're a little roasted, even better. Mm -hmm. And uh, these days, I've been doing a lot of uh, dried apricots. Which is kind of funny. It's a healthier answer than I thought you were going to say. Is it healthy though? Because like it has like a 35 grams of sugar. And it like, does, but like dried, like ca roasted dry. cashews and dried apricots. It's a, that's because it's like it's like you're it's a little sweet, a little salty. Like, you, that's a yeah, thing. you come home all like dead from a mic that you've just bombed, <laughs> and like you haven't eaten, you know. And the yeah. uh, cashews just like are like you get a handful and feel full pretty fast, right? Yeah. So, yeah. That is uh that would be a very uh favorite late night snack. Yeah. Otherwise if I'm good. being uh like really terrible McDonald's. McDonald's. Just saying. <laughs> I'm loving it. I love <laughs> That is I something. find when I get a McDonald's craving yeah. must be indulged. Like right. I don't know why yeah. when I'm okay. like I need McDonald's. I need McDonald's. No. Like <laughs> get out of my way. Get me chicken nuggets, fries. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right on. Yeah. What's your chicken nuggets and fries? With a glass of wine. That is Kelly's Happy Meal. Is it? Is it? <laughs> Question number three. Uh, what is a meal that takes you back to childhood? Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Does it come in dad's beatings? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Is there a meal like that? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, childhood was... Um, so, so it's it's very weird in uh, where I grew up in the Middle East. It's uh, very bland meals and very continental oh. all the time. Okay. But my dad would do uh, a really good like a chicken uh, thighs with uh, like a stew almost, Ooh. and okay. uh, it was very nice. And like I'm I'm that. I'm Indian, but like I have zero spice tolerance. So there would be <laughs> yes. I love that. So there would be two portions made in the house, one for Abby. <laughs> Who has nothing, like, no spice tolerance. Really? And then one for the rest of uh, the three of them, my brother, my mom, and dad. And, yeah. What happens with the spice? Do you get sweats? Do you just feel kind of weird? I just, I just can't. Uh, really? Yeah, I, everything starts, like, my mouth starts burning up, and I just hate it. That's really I don't want to sweat during a meal, you know? It's just... Now, I gotta ask, like, because my uh, background is, is Latvian, and my mom's side is British and French. So, right. like, heavy, boozy people. Yes, yes. And my family members can put back more than I can. And they kind of <laughs> poke fun at me. Does your family sort of 
mock you a I've, bit. I've that? had I've had every, every single time I say this to somebody that hey I can yeah they're like this what the hell man like, you know, you there's it? like immediate disappointment <laughs> on the face like not being able to have spice as an Indian kid is like the worst thing you can do it's like I don't know um, I love that. <laughs> so so when yeah. my mom would make like omelets and stuff, mm -hmm. my dad would get like a little green chili sliced up in his right. thing. Yeah. And then sometimes that would, you know, uh, make its way over to my plate as well. And then I would, and I remember I accidentally oh, ate no. a piece once and then I would be like, uh, now I gotta like watch and pick apart. Wow. Yeah, so oh, so wild. I really like omelets and I like uh, anything to do with like chicken and you know, if it's in a if it's a little stewy thing, then it's yeah. nice. It's really good. Yeah. Question right. number four. Let's go. Uh, some find it controversial. Some don't give a shit. Uh, but Abby, is a hamburger a sandwich? Uh, no. Ah. A hamburger is not a sandwich. It says in the word, it's a burger. <laughs> it's a burger. Uh, but no, it's not a sandwich. Okay. It's, it's a handheld burger. <laughs> And held hamburger. I don't. I don't know. It's I just, supposed to. I've been I've, <laughs> from a logical standpoint. A hamburger is not a sandwich. Okay. Have you ever seen like a menu where it says sandwiches and then hamburger? If you've seen one, don't go to that place. They don't know what the actually, hell. Actually, <laughs> actually, uh, the original name when it came to America was hamburger sandwich. Isn't it from America? Where is it from? Hamburg, Germany. For a guy who just spoke three seconds about logic, boom. <laughs> Question number five, last one of the five questions. Uh, if Ben and Jerry were to come to you and say, hey, we're going to name oh, an ice cream after you. Yes. Uh, what would they call it? And if it helps inspire, what would be in your sand? What would be in the, the ice cream? Okay, so I really like it. I want the name to be really fancy or okay. like, you know, very weird but like um uh, <laughs> i want the ice cream flavor to be simple okay uh, <laughs> chocolate or vanilla uh vanilla base for vanilla sure base. yes right. because it can go with kind of anything i feel mm -hmm. so the name has to be called out of place that's what oh, it's gonna be called if it's gonna like be that. yes it's gonna be called out of place and i've given it a lot of thought wow okay do yeah. tell so the thought process is one out of place is literally yeah who i am <laughs> <laughs> there's a, most things are weird for me even for people you think weird and i just i'm fine with that and yeah. like you know it's like um just the way i grew up moving around like india middle east and now here yeah. um so there's really no straight trajectory um yeah. And I feel like out of place is uh, it's a nice a ice great cream name. name because like yeah. sometimes you want to have ice cream when you're feeling a little out of place, you yeah. know, very deep. Yeah, um, you can find it in the cheese section. <laughs> <laughs> I would have left it there while getting groceries because <laughs> my girlfriend would have called me and said, "Hey, you fat," and then I would have just dropped my ice cream there. <laughs>